Hello everyone, it is Commensum and I am back with episode 2 of Trading to Legend De Boer. Now, with the MLS team of the season out, De Boer's down to about 380k and I am quite a bit ahead in this series, you know, just with work and stuff I've been able to trade a bit but I haven't been able to edit and record and all that kind of stuff. So, I am hoping to get him by the end of the MLS team of the season. If not, I'll hopefully get him before he rises over 400k again. So yeah, I'm really hoping to get him soon. And yeah, I'll just be able to edit and uh, commentate over these. Um, mostly at the weekend, so hopefully I'll get two or three done at each weekend. You know, bring out some every week. And yeah, just keep some content coming all the time. And then when I'm back in school, I'll be able to get lots more out. And yeah... Uh, FIFA 15 will be coming out then, web app and stuff, so we'll get pack openings and stuff out on the flat out then. And yeah, just in uh, this episode, because we are in a low coin amount, we are starting to trade with a few managers to help build up our coin bonuses. And this was actually working very well last week, um, picking up a few Portuguese managers for 150, selling them on for 300, picking up um, Italian managers for under 300. 400 and selling one for 500 or 600 and picking up Spanish managers for under 600 and selling on for 800 and that was working very effectively you know selling very quickly and able to make some nice profit there you can sell the coins going up quite rapidly there and yeah it was just working it wasn't the most fun method to do but you know it was making me some profit and in these little coins mounts that is what you need and it's just making profit at these stages and making enough to get you through and there's some of those that did sell there uh, Portuguese selling for 300 uh, Italian for 550 Portuguese for 300 Portuguese for 300 and Italian for 800 I'm not sure what the prices are at the minute they probably have changed so make sure you check before you do go out and buy so yeah we pick up a few more here and yeah, we're just making some steady, steady profit. And yeah, what I'm going to talk about mostly for this video is the football is coming back with the Community Shield on Sunday. Man City against Arsenal. And then of course, next weekend, the Premier League does kick off. I am a Liverpool fan, so I've been looking very closely at all the players Liverpool have been signing. And yeah, I just saw on Twitter there that Barcelona have signed Thomas Vermaelen from Arsenal. So yeah. He was a pretty good defender for Arsenal, who didn't make all that many starts because Murder Sacker and uh, Koscielny were mainly in front of him. But you know, I thought he was a decent defender. United were trying to get him as well, but Barcelona did win that race and have ended up picking him up. And yeah, I think that's a pretty good deal for them because they don't have the strongest defence with PK now gone. And you know, they've had Mascherano playing back there and PK, but they're not the best. So I think bringing Vermaelen in will add a bit more pace to the defence and will maybe make them better. And yet yeah, we picked up a pile of Canio for 200 and we're going to try and sell him on for 550 or 600, something like that, which will be some nice profit on these managers. And yet yeah, we're just starting to build up the coin total a bit, which will allow us to trade with some different methods, you know, start using silvers and things like that which we will be starting in the next couple of episodes and you know that keep us progressing nicely but here yeah we just do have some of them managers selling and some more of the bronze players selling from that pack and we will eventually start to discard them over the time uh, just if they don't look as if they're going to sell and we'll just add a few coins on from that and there we do have our first proper silver deal you know our first expensive silver deal and it is Gnabry, but we do have a few managers to sell first. We do have this Spalletti for 300, trying to sell them on for 600. You know, just doubling our coins. If we can at least double our coins with each of these low cost players, then that is all we need. We've got Allardyce here picked up for 150 because he had no contract, but then we do sell them on for 400, I think it is. So that's another nice profit. And yeah, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Who is the best signing you think anyone has made this season? For me, it could be Arsenal with Alexis Sanchez. He was so exciting to watch in the World Cup. It just looked to be a fantastic talent. And here's an Arsenal man himself, Gnabry, that we've picked up for 1.9k. 
Uh, we are trying to sell him on for 6k, I think it is, or 6.5k, something like that. He was getting price fixed at this stage, so that is why we were able to try and pick him up at this price. But it does kind of backfire at it for us later because we didn't realize he was getting price fixed and his price does plummet suddenly. And before that happened, we did pick up a few more. Uh, one here for 4.2 and a couple for 3.8 and 3.9. But the 4.2 one was his non upgraded version. So we do pick up these two here and we will list them up for six, 5 to 6k each, which you know is a nice profit. Um, making 2k profit on each and that'll help build up the coins a bit and yeah we will pick them all up I think we do end up picking two up one for 3.3 and one for 3.7 maybe so yeah some very nice profit and we will pick it up in a second here so yeah another decent signing that may happen in the next few days is Mangala going to Man City which I think will be very exciting as he is a fantastic defender, he showed that in the World Cup, even though France maybe didn't do the best, but he showed it, he, that he was a very, very strong talent, and that's why I think City are looking to pick him up, to help make a bit more depth in their defensive squad, alongside the likes of Vincent Company and Dem Kellis. So yeah, leave comments down below who you think is the best signing of the summer, and of course, for me, the best signing for Liverpool, um, probably Markovic, he looks like one that will be very exciting in the future, and I can't wait to see him in a few years' time uh, when he should be banging the goals in. You know, 20 million, it's a bit of a risk, but if it pays off, it will be the best sign ever. We picked up Luis, uh, Luis Suarez for 22 million, and people were saying that was a bit of a risk at the time, but you know, look at the amount of goals he scored first in the past few seasons, he was definitely worth it. So, yeah, come to the end of this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below with who the best sign is as you've seen and any trading tips you have for me so yeah please leave a like subscribe and peace